if you ever are driving I-93 up through the White Mountains in New Hampshire, get off exit 32 and come here to Clark's Trading Post. You, <laughs> Hey over there, Joe Lunchbox. And Joy Nightingale. And today we have landed right here in Lincoln, New Hampshire. Ooh. And we're actually at one of my favorite, I would say roadside attractions in all of New England. We're at a spot called Clark Trading Post. It wasn't always Clark Trading Post. In 1925, the spot started and a man named Ed and his wife Florence started. It was called Ed Clark's Eskimo Dog Sled Ranch. Ooh, now, that sounds fun. It does sound fun. A few years later, they wanted to add to this attraction. So in 1931, he went and he bought himself his first ever bear. A few years later, in 1945, his son Edward and also his son Murray started training the bears to actually do shows. Yeah. And the cool thing about this trading post is, it's one of the only spots I know, they still have their bear shows. There's not just a bear show, there's museums, um, mystery spots. Acrobats. Acrobats. But the bear show's cool. Ice cream. Yum, 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 and of course, the training post where you can buy stuff. So uh, <laughs> we're gonna go check it out. Ooh, and the train, I love the train. So step right up, let's go for this ride. Getting excited, this is our third time we've ever been here. Look at it, even have a giant snake slide. Trains. If you're a fan of roadside attractions and you have not come to Clark's Trading Post, you, you're not a real fan. Exactly. Because everything, anything you can imagine is here. There it is. Oh. Let's do this. Joy, Joy. Face painting. Tattoos, you want to get a glimmer tattoo? Oh, you already got tattoos. Glitter, glitter. You already got tattoos, huh? <laughs> like I said, Clark does have bear shows, but sadly, when you have pets, they do pass away over time, and they have their bear cemetery here. And people might go, ah, bear shows, that's mean. Why would you want it? These bears aren't just, they're like money making. They're part of their family. They take care so good to their bears that if you actually see here, this bear Rufus lived from 1953 to 1991, 38 years, seven months, the oldest living black bear in history. So I wish there was a way I knew where the gift shop was here. Oh, I guess I could follow these paw prints. Fudge, jewelry, souvenirs. I don't think we're up to souvenir shopping yet. Let's do, let's check out one of these museums. Ooh. Clark Museum, our first gift shop. Built 1937 for five hundred dollars. So this would have been their the building for. Yep, yeah, their first gift shop. Ooh, I want that. Sprint sled, used in short races by young boys, probably when they were the old Eskimo thing. Oh, I know. It's a little mini. It's I wish so they still cute. had the pennant. All the old different whistles for the train. Some model trains. And you'd be like, Joe, <laughs> did you just take me just to look at more trains? And you'd be right, I did. Yeah. But not just those have freak taxidermy. Look folks, a six-legged cow. What do we have here? A cool little cat. And a two-headed calf. Giant horns. I never seen that. I want that game. The Boy Scout Progress game, in case you all haven't noticed. It was a big part of my childhood. Made it to Eagle Scout. Greatest accomplishment I ever did. Besides marrying this woman right here. Well, um, uh, we I, I met Joy in Boy Scouts. <laughs> That's the story for another day. Look, Rough Riders. I see this. Toys, toys, toys. I like toys. Mm -hmm. I love the old tin wind up toys. But look at all the cameras. It's a real Before boats. Oh no, you've been exposed. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> I've been exposed. Ooh. The keyhole. Rated G. I don't know. We gotta find a dime. Do we have a dime? Well, my mom 
bracelet. Ooh la la. <laughs> Oh my god. Do you see? Do you see in that keyhole? Oh my god. Oh, she's but I love that they all still work here. To make you bullets. Give me one second before I shoot you. Huh? This person turns on that way then. I know. There you go. Officer swords and typewriters. Oh look, they used a sword to <laughs> That's funny. That's really funny. Me, me and Joy. They used this sword to cut their wedding cake. When me and Joy got married at Coney Island, the guy who was working the building that they gave us a sword and we cut our wedding cake so with the sword too. I never knew of anyone else that did that. We have some barrels from the bear show and that just reminds me, maybe, maybe we should go get a good up close seat to see that bear show. So Joy, what do you think so far of Clark? Oh my God, the museum was pretty cool. Hmm? The museum was like, and mind you, cool. that's just one that museum. Just one. They have a bunch of museums. I don't remember how much. All those bunch. like little uh, playing machines, the music machines. There's a whole building of those. There's going to be an automotive museum. One about the history of Clarks. Then we're going to get ice cream at the Peppermint Saloon. But right now, we still have about 20, 25 minutes for the bear show. We, we decided to get here early. One, one fact, see this bleaches there. There's people up there. It fills up. Look, I know, looking up there, it's already yeah. like around, which is so, really cute. So if you want to get a good seat, get there a half hour before. Get that front row seat to get the view. Mom, you excited for the bears? I am terribly excited. Terribly excited? Yes, I can't wait. Oh. I've been waiting years. Years? I think it was about two or three years ago last time we were here. Interesting, this man is Murray Clark. So it's still the same family. 1930. Bear expectancy for a wild bear is not that long. Somewhere in the neighborhood of four to six years. Our bears live much longer. They have a guaranteed living, balanced diet. We protect them. They're our personal property, our pets. We I'm speaking of a bear we've had here for many years. Her name is Victoria. Presently, Victoria is 29 years of age. That's not a record. <laughs> All right, let's get the show started, shall we? She is the first bear in history to recycle. That's right. All the hard black bears are going green. It's good for everyone. It I don't know what it is you've been eating to get B339, but here, have a little cream. more ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> I don't eat the rest of the ice cream all by myself because no one seems to want to help me. Oh, if I only had someone to share it with. Oh, would you like to help? Well, you know what? I changed my mind. It was, well, how about we just go check on that? Yeah. I guess the caught in a bear trap. <laughs> Woo! A real live one. Nails, You're going to put a run in my stockings. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pulling my pants down. Ready? <laughs> Bulls wide open. No goalie in sight. We lose one every show. <laughs> On a breakaway. Get closer. Real condition. On a slap shot. about that you need to make goalie one of the Be a fool bear driver. Uh -huh. <laughs>
White Mountain Central. So we saw the bear show. We're listening to the Warlitzer organ as we're waiting for this train to come a rolling. We're gonna roll down the tracks, Joy. Are you, you think we might see the Wolfman? Oh my gosh. Are you afraid of the Wolfman? I kind am. Of you should be. Mom, you afraid of the Wolfman? No. Okay, you should be. I know. Mom's just brave. No, I'm, I'm trying to get over my phobias in my old age. Okay, yeah. Of you know trains or wolfmen? Wolfmen. Okay. <laughs> Steam starting to whistle. Yes, that's our train. He's going to push us along the track. He pushes us, don't he pull us? No, it's going to push us. Why? Because that's what it does. Fair photo ops. It's the right segue. walk back to the station. <laughs> and if you were scared, now's your chance for revenge. So here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna squeeze your left eye, point your finger at it, and yell, scram you old goat. Just scram you old goat. Oh, again. Oh, oh, oh. A sleeping bear. I found one. 
And there's the other sleeping baby. Why don't you go in your house? You got a house and a swimming pool. We went upstairs from where we saw the bear show before. No, no, we're not getting another view for a bear show. They actually have a circus acrobat show here as well. Train was awesome, bear show was awesome. We got away from the wolf man. I was afraid. I was afraid. I know. Going back the other way. It's a new meaning for cake stands right there. <laughs> I love that the river bank, which is the restroom, and if you see the branch manor, T.S. Crapper, your deposits welcome. We believe in you and your business. We have the hook and ladder. Ooh, the chief's office, but it actually is the firehouse museum. I like all these old fire alarms and then the old fire trucks. And I, actually, not fire trucks. Fire engines that were horse drawn carriages. Oh, I do like this pest quilt showing them feeding the bear the ice cream. We have some more fire medallions and medals and head plates of helmets. Joy, do you know what they use Dalmatians? Back in the day, they got along with the fire horses better than any other breed of dog. So they all use the Dalmatians. I messed up, Joy. I got a whole pocket full of quarters, but not enough dimes. Oh no! I forgot these used dimes. Building of the dream. One was born in '88. Other was born in '90. 1932. There's the sled dogs. You see the boys with the sled dogs. We're building the train in 1969. The railroad station. He made his first debut. In 1973, was the star of the Wolfman. 86 is when the Merlin's Mystical Mansion. Uh -huh. We're gonna check that out. We have some in the circus. I can't do it. I'm trying to do electric slide because we're any of the electric carriers. Oh, Look at all yeah. the, the light bulbs. And, and some of the, I love the, the old pole insulators. I have a collection of those. Oh, those are really green. That guy, he's the top snuff. Oh, yeah. For five cents, that is. Well, then that's not being the top snuff. We can see horizontal mill steam engine. Can I try to find another dime? Another, another dime. <laughs> I told you, I brought all these quarters. I thought it was quarters also. Right. So don't worry. See the 
valve and you see how it does the inlet, the exhaust. Isn't it ironic? The old man climbing tower was installed in 2003. And then the real old man of the mountain collapsed the same year. This Borden's milk uh, carriage is awesome. We're looking at all the little miniature steam engines. Some Lionel train ads. See the piano part, but watch it actually move. Look at the joy, look at the bellows. Oh, that's pretty cool. And this also was also made in Binghamton, New York. One day I will have these old soda fountain things for root beer. They also have a big display on Moxie Soda, which is a soda up here in New Hampshire. Just wonder how it tastes. Joy, for my birthday, can you buy me this? No, I get just a little guy on no, top. No, get, get me this and make sure the tap is always flowing. Oh. Root beer floats forever. That sounds good, root beer float. That does. Ooh, that orange one is cute. No, no, no. Forget about the orange. Root beer float sounds good now, doesn't it, Joy? It does. I, should, I, we, I could go for one of them. That sounds like a good idea. What do you say? That does sound like a plan. Cool. I think my mom spent people looking at her sleeping on the rail. Hey, lady, wake up. Peppermint Slim might be the perfect spot to get one of those root beer floats I was talking about. Let's check it out. Oh yeah. This is exactly what I was looking for. Look at the old soda fountain machine. We're getting it from regular soda machines now, but. So I went for the black raspberry chip yogurt. It looks the most like what the bears were eating. It does, it really does. So what you getting? We're making our making our sunny. Start with some sprinkles. Ooh, can't go wrong with that. We're going a little. What did we pick up? Oh, whipped cream. Real whipped topping, it says. Okay. You got hot, hot fudge or butter? I'm gonna go first. Yeah. I'm gonna go hot fudge. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm losing my, my whipped cream. I saw that. But the only one other thing you need. A cherry on top. Cherry it's on. Like you, the script to this. I, you know, it just looks like you said a traditional classic Sunday, so. <laughs> Beautiful Sunday. So I got my Sunday, and to wash it down, I got yum, a yum. root beer float, which is what I really. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. And their ice cream. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna try the Sunday. We got some yum yum. Some black raspberry chip frozen yogurt, whipped cream, hot fudge, cherry. Go for it. Sprinkles. Oh, I thought it was gonna be good. It's actually delicious. <laughs> Got it. This has to be the best, like some of the best I've ever had. How's that? That's it. I'm quitting my job. I'm getting a bear costume. I'm gonna start working with bears just so I can eat ice cream all day. I want to be paid with this. It's, a, it's delicious. Shops and more shops. Candle shops. We have a little museum. The family trees. It was Edward and Florence that married and had the two kids. And there we have Edward and Murray, the two kids that started training the bears. So, from the two brothers, if we see that Murray, if we follow it down, this is the guy we watched in the bear show. And that's the sister we watched in the bear show. Really cool. And then we come to the last museum they have. The old gas station. See some of these tanks with Clark, Sky Chief of Mobile Gas. Well, I like that. Gargoyle Mobile Oil. Mm -hmm. But this, this museum, Joy, this museum out of all the museums is my favorite. I'll show you why. 
You'd be like, is it all the gasoline memorabilia? Kind of. Kind of. <laughs> is it because of the Indian motorcycles? Kind of. Kind of. No, no, not really. You know what it might be for? That car? No, that car is sharp. <laughs> See this guy standing over there? He'd be like, what is he for? And I'll give you a hint. That's a second horse that could be used right here on the Moxie horse mobile. This has to be one of the coolest things I've ever seen. The, it's the last remaining original example of perhaps two dozens of famous Moxie horse mobiles first appeared around 1916. Now, it isn't a joke. If you see the stick's just there, there is the steering wheel. You literally sit on a horse's saddle and drive the Moxie car. It just, it makes me joy. I have to do it. I have to try some Moxie. All right, we did it. We got a bottle of Moxie. We're gonna give this stuff a shot. New Hampshire. Wow. It's hard with one hand. <laughs> I know, I'm holding it too. <laughs> Look at it, it's, it's, it's fizzing. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, there is like It is an elixir, they say. <laughs> so it's got some moxie, I gotta tell you. Uh. All right. The smell is interesting. Okay. We're gonna, we're gonna give it a shot. All right, it tastes... It tastes disgusting. Um, it tastes like if cola I can't be. was mixed with Robitussin, was mixed with Necco wafers. That sounds like you're lying. No, that's 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 pretty bad, Joy. You you can't be right. No, that's that's absolutely disgusting. You, it really is disgusting. You, you, you just you just you just sprayed soda with me. I told you it was disgusting. What, 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 why didn't you just believe me? Because sometimes you're not right. Yeah, folks. If you're in New Hampshire and you want to try it, just say you tried it. Go for it. But if you drink this every day, Ugh, I still have it on. <laughs> yeah, we messed up. We should have got the root beer floats after the mock. See, not before, but yeah. Yeah, that was a thing. That was a thing. Yeah. That was a thing. Well, we tried Moxie, folks. We did it. Now we're gonna go to Merlin's House of Mystery or Merlin's, some Merlin's house, okay? Merlin's mansion. Yeah, Merlin's mansion. Mystery mansion. Mi mystery. Merlin's mystery mansion. That's what we're gonna go check out. It's another thing here, our Clark's Trading Post. I like it. It's almost like one of those dark ride vortex tunnel mm -hmm. hybrid right. things. I didn't mean to speak though. Yeah, sure you didn't. I love you. Merlin's Mystery Mansion. Warning, if you're claustrophobic, afraid of dark, prone to motion sickness, scaredy cat, do not enter. She's not gonna see if we get into Merlin's Ma Mystery Mansion. I don't know if we're gonna be able to film inside. Who dares say. not fun the wizard's door? We, oh, we do! do. Where, where were they? So we're in a gravity point. So Small objects stay and big arms rotate around us. I am going to lower these magical safety railings, so please do not touch them until I tell you it's safe. It's going to be magic. Ready, ready? Ooh. Wave goodbye to our friend Jake from the outside. Bye, Jake. Bye, Jake. Bye, Jake. Bye, Jake. Bye, Jake. never see him. We will now experience the mystery and power of Merlin's world. Off the camera. Look, we're, we're standing still. Even the door's moving. Oh. Ooh, nice. Yeah, this is a trick to these rooms. Close your eyes. Because then you don't realize that everything's spinning. Wow. 
Yeah. I see we all made it back here. We survived. <laughs> Joy, bear with me for a second. Oh no. Merlin's mystery match got me a little dizzy. Seriously. Bear, bear with you, bear. Bear with me. It, Cause it's a bear with you. Now you're stealing my joke of me explaining my jokes. So it's funny that you're the joke now. For my joke? Huh? Yeah, this is gonna keep on going. <laughs> now this thing makes me sad, but I'm glad it's not fully gone. Right behind that door right there, this is Tuttle's Cabin. Tuttle's Cabin is a mystery spot type thing with different gravity points and angles, so water goes uphill and all that stuff. Sadly, it's no longer that. We can't get the tour. We can't get the funny jokes about mom and dad and how they're buried. No, but they did keep the theming. Changed a little bit, and now it is Total shooting gallery. Ooh. And we still have some of the uh, some of the illusions I was told. So let's uh check it out. Oh listen, it goes pink. Clink. 18 shots. Okay. Hey Jax, <laughs> you screwed hit the ground with his hat. With three tries. <laughs> oh, I just hit you. Sure. Ready, ready, ready? The mystery spot. Bye. The ball is rolling uphill. What? It didn't quite make it. Wow. We'll do the bottom. I broke it. <laughs> That's pretty cool. There is. There's another ball. Is it going to knock the first ball? Oh, they both went. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Oh, ah. Two for five sounds good to me. Boop. So, since it was the mystery spot, this was the first room we'd come in into Tuttle's Rusty Cabin. And that was the second room we did, so we went back to see what we could shoot here. The bowling oh, yeah. ball. It rolled uphill. Well, that was different. Lousy, but different. <laughs> oh! Why? Oh, she hurt her, her bedpan there. Found it. Oh, the little mouse! Uh uh. Oh, look at those garments are shaking. <laughs> oh, my. If you guys keep shooting that well, old Granny here's gonna let you massage my bunions. Oh, oh Granny! No. <laughs> oh. Wow! How impressive! That's some really fancy shit. It's a rodeo skunk. That was really cute. Good yeah. job. I like it. I wish they had more of the mystery spot stuff in here. I know. But, but we have a bowling ball on this side that goes the wrong way. You can the other side. So there's even a rock climbing wall. You want to see me climb to the top? Yeah, let's go. Cool. Um. I made it. Um. Oh, I'm not going up. I'm, I'm not going up that one. This, this is more my speed. Uh, okay. There also is this giant anaconda water slide. But I think today, Joy, I think we're gonna skip this a changing room and I don't have a change of clothing and we have a long drive ahead of us, so. We do need still to get to our hotel. Yeah, so I think I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna wrestle that python today. Oh. Yeah. But now you've seen it. You've seen the museums, the Total Shooting Gallery, Merlin's Mystery Mansion, the Bear Show, the Acrobat Show, we rode the train, we ate some ice cream, did all the museums. There's only one thing left to do, you know what it is, Joy? Exit through the gift shop. Exactly. He <laughs> just stole that whole thing. <laughs> playing with the leaves. You know what she's saying? What? He loves me. He loves, he me, loves me not. not. I'm really intrigued about this scale because I never knew, I know how many pounds I weigh. 
I need to know how many equivalent in stones it is. Ah. What? So I'm 19.4 stones. Wow. Fully dressed. And with lots of ice cream. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. At least none of those stones are kidney stones. Ow! Joy, I've rode a mechanical boat before, but I never rode a stuffed bear before. Oh no. <laughs> That's... I named him Timber. Why? He's staying as still as a log, and I might fall off him as I'm trying to get down. Oh no, well. Uh... <laughs> and there's the big old bear. So, Joy, there's another scale. We weighed me on the last one. You want to weigh on this one? Oh, no, that one's out of order. Oh, well. All right, Joy, you get the big bear. Huh? You get the big, the big bear. High five, bear. High five. Does he have five? I don't know. Um, no, he's missing one. Well, he's missing a claw, but. I was going to pet him, but then the sign said, trespassers will be eaten, and I figured it's probably a bad idea. So let's not go that way. We should exit through the gift shop. Postbox mailbox here is active still. You could still mail your postcards from the actual park. And look at it. It's an epic gift shop. <laughs> they have all these random names. Do you, are they going to have just joy? Let's see. Ooh, sorry, Joy. But I found, I found me. Oh, well, gee. No joy. Wow, is that a good day? So, as you've seen, there's a lot, a lot to do at Clark's Training Post. We had a bunch of other things we were supposed to film around this area in Lincoln, New Hampshire. I don't know if we're going to get to it or not because we spent all day here, which I'm not complaining. Okay. Training Post starts there. We have the Bears with the show, the train, the Anaconda. That's almost it. But we've been here for about five or six hours doing all of it. And I love the spot so much, I can't say it enough. If you ever are driving I-93 up through the White Mountains in New Hampshire, get off exit 32 and come here to Clark's Trading Post. You... So much that the Wolfman's like outside getting ready to chase oh, yeah, everybody. Yeah, Wolfman's parked out front of the Trading Post to chase you out. <laughs> can't see him. Oh, you oh, heard him oh. right there. But yeah, amazing experience. We ended up buying some good souvenirs. I, I got a t-shirt I have to put on because this one right here is covered in some moxie. Yeah, thanks, Joy. Uh, snow globe, postcards. Joy also got a t-shirt, so did Mom. I did, but I the, got Victoria Paw Print. That was the cool thing. Joy got a Victoria Paw Print t-shirt, but we also got one of Victoria Paw Print's paintings. Now I have a penguin's painting from Ripley's Believe It or Not Aquarium in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Now I have a bear painting from Victoria here at Clark Training Post. And we also have another animal souvenir. We have a spoon yeah, that the, was used by Tula. Yeah, from the show. They actually sell the old spoons engraved. So we have one of Tula's show spoons, which is a pretty cool souvenir, I think. All right, so I think we could call this one, Joy, Clark's Training Post. Been Get there, done that. Back. And remember, folks, safe travels, good, good eats, and, and live, live life. life. Disgusting.